Vineet from Danish Technologies. We are a marine robotic startup based out of Chennai. Uh, we have made different systems for underwater inspection. For example, you can see that's an underwater remotely operated vehicle, which is used for inspection of dams, bridges, uh, ports, you know, and we are also inspecting tanks in process industry. Uh, this unit is remotely controlled with the help of a cable, and we have a control station where an operator sits around and they can remotely control this unit. It has a camera, it has different sensors like ultrasonic sensors, sonar sensors, which collect different type of data underwater, uh, which can be relayed live stream to the operator um, and the client can see the same. The second type of product we have is an autonomous underwater vehicle, which is used for autonomous survey of seabed, um, such as side scan surveys, multi beam surveys. If you have to find something underwater, uh, like, like debris, you know, or, or or any other objects that may be something on the seabed. Apart from that, we are also making a product for the Indian Navy which is going to be used for characterization of specific parameters for naval vessels. And that is uh, that is a product that we have been working with IDEX and that is under trials. Uh, these, these units are completely autonomous. They can be programmed uh, with prefed mission objectives. They can be deployed, they are unmanned. They complete their objectives and they come back to the station with the data, uh, which can be then analyzed by naval personnel, you know, or operators for further assessment. Can you explain here in case? Yeah, so this is one of the incident process where you see the live position of, of the, the vehicle for the AUV and you see the orientation, the roll and pitch uh, of, the, of the system. You see the propeller state here, which tells which direction the propeller is running, you know, how much is the thrust so that you can identify the current state of the overall vehicle. And this, you see the sonar object detection and mapping, uh, which is giving an idea of what is the surrounding of the overall system, so for, which is helpful for navigation. Wonderful. So what is the way forward? Any next innovation which you are looking for? Yes, well, uh, we are looking at making uh, autonomous systems, you know, more... Uh, uh, reaching the deeper depths you know, and performing for more complicated tasks like say mine countermeasures you know or being able to completely with the, without the help of any human operator go and survey an entire area and come back we are also looking at autonomy for very very long durations like we deploy a system that can work for a few days or even for a few weeks with a complete uh, without any intervention from any any human so uh Perhaps I believe that there is an ecosystem now in India about yeah. uh, developing such products. Right. Uh, how you started and uh, right. can you please tell me about your yeah. background, about your company's background? Sure. So we have, uh, uh, we are from IIT Madras. So the way we started as part of our student life, we were doing a lot of robotics projects. And um, we also met some professors there who had similar interest in robotics. So a um, couple of alumni, you know, including myself from uh, IIT Madras and professor, we teamed up together. And uh, with my education has been in the field of uh, naval architecture and ocean engineering. Our professors have been in the field of non-destructive testing. So we combined all the ideas together and we started building ROVs for underwater inspection. So after our first commercial operation, we got traction, we got some investment interest from the angel community so we were able to raise funds you know make more of these units you know and scale across different industries being able to provide more inspection uh, services to uh, different units in the industry and that gave us a path for revenue and more traction with the help of that we raised further funds and we have invested that into the R&D of uh, different systems such as autonomous underwater systems and uh, ROVs as well. Right so yes. what is the way forward like uh, uh, about the government funding, uh, are you pitching your pr uh, project to the government or to the yeah. Uh, Navy? Yeah, we are, we are, we are. So we are working with IDEX for uh, the development of a specific naval uh, application platform. Yeah. Right. So uh, what about export? Sorry. Yeah, absolutely, yes. We are looking at that as well. And um, we are uh, right now at the stage of trials as, as and when these products get commercial. We are looking forward to, you know, even... Uh, export these to different places. To the friendly countries. Yes, yeah. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much. Sir.